Yeah, very good morning children. I am Satish Nekumar, Science Faculty from DAB RTPP Kanapa and our principal is Sri Prasad Sarkaru. And you know children, what is this? Yeah, very good. This is coronavirus and you know today the whole world is suffering from this very very dangerous disease that is uh, corona, right? So today we are going to deal with a new lesson that is a story of microorganisms. You know in our home when now we observe the home we can find different types of things like tables, chair, TV, then uh, your parents, your brothers, sisters like this. But uh, apart from them you can also find some other things in your home. Even though they are present, we cannot see in them. You know, what are they? No, not devils. They are microorganisms. Very good. Microorganisms. Now, what is mean by micro? Means small. And organisms means creatures. You know, they are the very, very small to see. Even though they are present, because of their small size, we cannot see them and that's why we call them as microorganisms. And even in science, there is a special branch to study about them. And what do you call that? Yeah, that is called microbiology, which means study of microorganisms or a study of microbes. Right? So... In this chapter, we are going to deal about this uh, microorganisms that to be part one. And you know who is the scientist? This scientist is Anthony von Leeuwenhoek. Already in the previous lesson, we learnt about this scientist. Now this is the first uh, scientist who observed uh, microorganisms for the first time. Okay, And uh, here we can find one more picture. What is this? This is the microscope which was prepared and used by this Antony von Leeuwenhoek. And in this microscope, we can find only one lens, single lens. And with the help of this single lens, he could be able to see the microorganisms. Right. So for the first time, this Antony von Leeuwenhoek, he observed a lake water lake water and uh, he observed that lake water a drop of lake water under his uh, microscope and he found uh, some uh, new creatures so he called them as uh, animal cules animal cules what are animal cules what is mean by this means the small animals small animals but later, the name animalcules was replaced by bacteria. By bacteria. So, this is very, very important. So, Antony von Leeuwenhoek called microorganisms as uh, yeah, animalcules and later bacteria. So, the credit of discovery of bacteria goes to the scientist that is Antony von Leeuwenhoek by using is a single lens there microscope and you know what is the capacity of that microscope means it can magnify the microorganisms 300 times magnify what is meant by magnify making them bigger making them large right then now next next come to the other topic types of uh, microbes types so when now uh, we absorb the microorganisms, we can find uh, firstly virus, then bacteria, protozoans, there are microarthropods. Actually, these are not uh, microorganisms, but uh, because of their tiny size, because of their small size, even we can consider as a microbes. And then algae and the fungi. Algae and fungi. So among them, when we take uh, first four types, 
that is viruses bacteria protozoans and microarthropods they belong to animal kingdom animal kingdom right and uh, next to there is algae and fungi they belong to plant kingdom got it so the microorganisms belong to both the animals and also these uh, plants so which come under animal kingdom yeah that is viruses bacteria protozoans and the microarthropods right and the while there's algae and fungi these two come under plant kingdom got it now see observing fungi what is fungi means you know in a home that means at the corners of the room we can find the long thread like structures and even over the pickles you can find uh, uh, some uh, you know white colored uh, threads have you seen when the pickles are stored improperly so you can find uh, some thready structures right so these rolls would be fungi right and especially in a rainy season now the rains are uh, going on okay so during this rainy season when i go to outskirts that means over the soil over the wet soil we can find a uh, what we can find uh, some umbrella shaped uh, structures have you seen that over the soil the next over there there's a bark of the leaf a bark of the plants like this here we can find a uh, what here small umbrella like structures what are they yeah they are mushrooms so mushroom is also a kind of a fungi fungi right and this is the only edible type of fungi edible you know nowadays and there is a great demand for the mushroom okay and uh, we prepare different types of food items and we eat that and which is uh, very rich in a protein right equal to non veg item right and here you can find one more thing see when uh, we preserve the uh, this uh, bread in our home in open condition for a long time or when uh, the fruits and the vegetables are kept over the table for a long time what you can find can you find any change over them after some time after few days yes they rot they rot the beans they spoil and how you can say they are spoiled that means their color changes yeah so when uh, you observe the bread see over the bread slice you can find some uh, black or uh, ash colored uh, patches right have you seen so why it turns into black color means here over that bread we can find this uh, structures and we call that as a bread mold that is called uh, bread mold and here what is this this is another kind of a uh, uh, fungi that is called aspergillus uh, which can be seen over this rotten fruits and the vegetables correct so in this way we can find that and uh, how you can find this uh, microbes means so from this uh, spoiled uh, bread uh, or the rotten meat or rotten uh, fruits and vegetables so with the help of a small pin you can scrap you can remove that black colored uh, portion and uh, then when we up to that under the microscope we can see the structure that is a bread mold and uh, then this is aspergillus aspergillus right so these are the different types of fungi the next one there is a bacteria generally where you can find this bacteria means the bacteria can be seen in uh, the buttermilk at a cord you know cord daily we use that as a part in our diet the next uh, tongue scraping what is the tongue scraping means so in the early morning whenever you wake up from the bed if you carefully observe your tongue uh, over the tongue 
you can find a white colored substance have you seen yes that is called a tanga scrapping and uh, because of that no you can find uh, some bad smell in the early morning from uh, our mouth and uh, even they can be seen over the soil the next uh, bark of trees uh, over our skin the next uh, in our armpits then air and even water the means we can say these bacteria are present everywhere in the, the planet okay and uh, here in this picture you can find different types of uh, bacteria which are available in different uh, shapes see these are uh, uh, that is a uh, round shape the next uh, some are comma shape then uh, oval shape then a cargo screw shape like that okay so they are available in a different shapes and uh, sizes got it so where you can find them with the buttermilk and curd tongue scraping soil bark of trees over our skin armpits air and water right and these saw the different shapes of uh, bacteria then let's see observation of lactobacillus what is lactobacillus means you know in our daily life uh, the pains while we are taking this uh, lunch or a dinner we complete our lunch or a dinner by taking what yeah by taking a cold rice almost all the people they take a cold rice at uh, the end of their uh, lunch or uh, dinner right and how you can prepare that coat means with the help of a bacteria that is a lactobacillus so lactobacillus is the bacteria that is responsible for converting milk into curd right in the next lesson we can deal about all these things now let's see how to absorb this lactobacillus so first what you have to do means you can take one or two drops of uh, buttermilk over the slide and then you have to spread that you have to spread that over the slide clear and then put that over the candle or the lamp and heat that gently for the 3 to 4 seconds just the pins at a low flame you have to heat it for the 3 to 4 seconds right and then we have to add a few drops of a, a chemical or a, we can say indicator that is a crystal violet this is very very important so which indicator which color we use to absorb lactobacillus means crystal violet no it is a violet in a color so just because of this indicator only we can see this lactobacillus so without adding this uh, indicator no of course lactobacillus is present but you cannot see them okay why means in such condition this uh, lactobacillus will be transparent it will be white in color and so you cannot see that right and after adding this uh, crystal violet just leave that for uh, one minute or we can say 32 60 seconds right without doing that without disturbing that keep that aside and then pour the water over the slide gently just we have to pour the water over the slide okay then we can keep the slide under the microscope clear so these are the steps put it and this is very very important for your long answer questions okay it's a very simple you can take first uh, what you have to take one or two drops of uh, buttermilk on the slide and uh, spread it and then heat it heat it for 3 to 4 seconds then add a few drops of a uh, crystal violet which is indicator and then leave it for 1 minute without doing anything without any disturbance and then clean that uh, 
slide gently with the water and then observe that under the microscope then what you can see means you can see the structure like this okay see under the microscope see you can see the lactobacillus like this in a violet color like this what okay? but uh, what is this means this is also lactobacillus but uh, in the enlarged form enlarged form clear so this is way how to absorb the bacteria that is lactobacillus okay now what is this children yeah this is very very important and uh, daily so when uh, you go out say or uh, when uh, you come back to the home you must use this uh, hand sanitizer when you go outside we must use the mask to our face and then we must wear the gloves to our hands and then even you have to clean our hands with the soap and water or the hand wash like this and the which is the best way to protect ourselves means stay home and stay safe right thank you and have a nice day